Hello. How are you all doing? I hope you're good. I hope you're keeping safe. You are highly welcome to my channel. If today is your first time of seeing me or coming across my video, God bless you. Thank you for clicking to watch my video. Appreciate God. Look around you. You will see that a lot is happening. Some are rejoicing. Some are crying. Some, are, some wish they are alive. A lot of things is happening. Choose to be grateful to God Almighty. Yes. Some people just give birth. They lost their life. They lost the child. Some the child is alive. The mother is gone. Some the mother is alive. Child goes home. Okay. Come back peacefully. Some have still parts. Some have miscarriage. Some just discover that they took him. A lady went to do traditional marriage. 40 minutes after the traditional marriage, she collapsed and she died. If she know that her life is connected to the traditional marriage, she wouldn't have should have postponed it and pray more to clear her way before she can fix the death. Some have been diagnosed of cancer, kidney failure. A lot of things are happening. If God has given you life, why not appreciate God? The year is about to end. Appreciate God no matter what your spouse is doing to you, your children, forgive them. Don't cross to 2021 uh, with anger and grudges in your hearts. You're welcome back to my channel. God bless you. My name is Mercy. Please consider to subscribe. Click the red button to subscribe, select all, to always get notified from the YouTube whenever I upload a new video. And to my return subscriber, God bless you. I can assure you 2021 is going to be marvelous. Yes, for staying with me. Thank you. Like, put your comment and comment section. A lot of, I'm owing some people a lot of video because I've told them I'm going to make video on that. But I don't want to deviate from the spirit of God. Okay. Whatever I've been instructed to talk about is better. All right. Now I made a video of cleansing to remove hatred and negativity from yourself. And somebody make a comment, what can she use to substitute for that? I want to talk about the power of your cooking salt. Cooking salt, not spiritual salt, not sea salt. Cooking salt, the salt you use in cooking in your home. Okay, I want to tell you what you'll be using it to do to cleanse your home now that the year is about to end. The same sort you use in adding to your food to feed your spouse, to feed the member of your family, to share to outsiders that want to eat your food and say the house, the food is delicious, is the sort you are going to be using to clean and bless your home and your cooking time. Now, the power of salt, when it comes for blessing, is very, very important. When it comes for blessing, your home is very, very important. When it comes for removing hatred, bringing peace and love to your family, is very, very important. When it comes to protection, attracting favor and good luck, Salt is very, very important. Okay? You're going to be using this salt to pray. Listen very well and know how you're going to pray this prayer. You're going to pray inside this salt and be telling God to remove bitterness from your home. Replace it with peace. Remove sadness. Replace it with love. Remove bad luck. Remove, replace it with progress. Father, remove separation. You are the type, you and your spouse is always fighting. Remove separation from me and my spouse. Bind us together with your love. Remove sickness. Replace it with healing. Remove darkness. Overshadow my home with light. Remove poverty. Overshadow my home with favor, riches, and wealth. As this sword is sweet, let this sword bring peace, bring all these blessings 
have wished myself and my household from now to the ending of the year 2021. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You'll be praying in your own religion. All right? Now, when you get your salt, by the time you get your salt, you're going to be adding time to it. All right? And you're going to get olive oil. You can get olive, Goya olive oil in every shop. This is your salt. Okay? This is your salt. This is your time. The cooking time. All right. Time is a purifier. Time is a healer. Time has spiritual power of anti-poison. Time has spiritual power. It has the antidote to negativity. Okay? If you check in the book of Exodus 15, 23, you will see when the children of Israel got to the um, uh, uh, Mara water, they couldn't drink because the water was bitter. And God asked Moses to cut down the tree and put inside that water. And the water was purified and the water was sweet again. That's the work of this time. All right, in your home. Now you're going to add this time into this salt. When you add it into the salt, you're going to read Psalm 91 into this salt three times. Psalm 91, you're praying it into the salt. You're going to read Psalm 23. You're praying it inside the salt three times. Psalm 23, you're going to read Psalm 35. You pray it inside the salt three times. Psalm 35, you will pray from 1 to 28. 1 to 28. You're going to read Matthew 7 7. Matthew 7 7 inside the salt. Then this is what you're going to pray because you are going to ask the Lord to remove all these things from you and replace don't say remove bitterness mm -mm. father remove bitterness you can download this video to get it very well get it right remove bitterness replace it with peace anything you remove those things you are removing there's a spirit behind them spirit there's this angel that bring peace that is psalm 23 and your goodness and mercy so whenever you're removing you will replace if you leave it, eh, the spirit can still come back. So you remove, you replace. Eh? No vacuum. Don't leave empty, any empty space. Remove bad luck. Replace with progress. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. As you're so prosperous. I don't want to go deep. Then you, when you're done praying on this sort, you're going to put it at four corners of your home. Your sitting room, four corners. Your bedroom, four corners. Your kitchen, four corners. Okay? Then at the entrance of your uh, sitting room, you're going to use the salt, salt to make a line Then Your room, make a line there. When you are about to go to bed, you're going to make that line of salt there. Then when you wake up first thing in the morning, do not cross the salt. Mm -mm. Take your broom. Remove that one on the... The one on the on the entrance of your room. Use your broom. Keep your broom and packer by the side of the door. Take your broom. Remove that salt there. Throw it away. The one you put at the four corners of your room will be staying in that house for four days. Four days. You'll be removing it on New Year morning. Okay. New Year morning, that is when you'll be removing that salt. You'll be removing it on New Year morning. All right? Yes. Then night again, you use another one to cross the door. Why? It will prevent those evil spirits not to enter into your home and trouble your home. Hmm? In the morning again, you will remove it. Okay? You remove the salt. You use your packer broom and sweep it, sweep it away and throw those ones away. That's what you'll be doing. 
okay by the new year morning you're going to sweep all those salts at every corners of your home that you have put the salt sweep them away mop them cleaning clean them very well and the mop you use in mopping that salt you're going to throw that mop away and get a fresh mop by so doing you have removed that hatred that bitterness that bad spirit that have been troubling your home okay and you have replaced your home with sweetness please can you do this little practical prayer in order to experience a better best glorious 2021 thank you god bless you bye